Good morning and welcome to Gaia Bonsai. It's the 24th of January 2024 here in Southwest Cornwall. Um, today I'm going to prune my dawn redwood trees and I'm also going to take some cuttings from all the pruning. So I've got the tools I need, chopstick, very sharp scissors, knob cutters and I've also got some rooting gel and I've got two dawn redwoods to prune and take some cutting from so I'll just make a space for everything so I've covered these dawn redwoods in uh, quite a few previous videos these are two uh, like garden trees I'm going to uh, fatten up see how quickly and how thick I can grow them so you can see it's got a nice flaky bark already and then if we can zoom in try and get a good spot you can see the buds are just slightly beginning to swell so as we're in the southwest Cornwall it's quite a maritime environment so the season starts quite early down here so I'll let these grow quite vigorously as you can see we've got two competing leaders here so I haven't pruned them at all before now I thought I'll wait till the um, early spring and then I can plenty of material for cuttings uh, so dawn rivers grow very very rigorously they're pretty tough and hardy uh, need plenty of water apart from that I find them pretty easy to grow all the branches have a nice red color so that's a good sign because sometimes the branches do die off during the winter another growth um, aspect of them is you can see several branches will grow from one spot so I have to thin those out thin that one out if we leave those they'll get quite a thick whirl so we can remove a couple of those right so I begin to thin the branches out first of all we'll snip this one off and this one off I'll keep those for cuttings and I'll just clean these nobbles up there we are they're cut nicely flush to the trunk these are the competing leaders so what I'll do is I'll cut this one off as it's a bit better shape I think and I'll snip this one out as well and there's that one that one I'll just clean this stub up here I think I'll leave all the rest of the branches as these are I'll leave the rest of the branches as these are garden trees so I'm going to let them grow on quite vigorously so that's the first one this is the second one there's a few little wispy bits to pull off uh, let's have a look in here as you can see that's got a branch going from underneath another underneath oh that one's died off that one's died off a couple of underneath branches that's another underneath one pull these off that's a good underneath one and above it is um 
and underneath and above so I'll cut one of those off and this one here as well and this one too has got two competing leaders so I'll cut this one off the thinner of the two there we are let's thin that out a bit I've got plenty of oh there's another one there that needs to come off look I'll just snip that one off So I've got plenty of material for hardwood cuttings and let's clean the tree up a little bit. Right, I've got plenty of material here for cuttings. So we'll get them growing the correct way and start snipping them up. So what I'll do is cut them underneath two buds like so, pop that to the side. one up, cut that one under two buds, cut that one under two buds, and I'll cut that at an angle, pop it the right way up. under two buds there we are, I've got a selection of hardwood cuttings here so I'll keep them all the right way up and then what I'll do is I'll just gently rub these little buds off like so and then that can go into the uh, rooted medium like that. It's a bit of a thick one this one. I don't know if it will root or not, but it's worth trying. Clean these up. Just cut this nobble off. There we are. Another one. I'll just rub the bottom buds off. Like so. We'll just leave a couple near the top. Right, I'll carry on and rub the, the buds off the bottoms for the rest of them. There we are. That's cleaned all the buds off the lower bit of the stem. So the theory behind that is because this is a growing point, the bud, so there's a concentration of hormones there ready to grow into a leaf and potentially a branch. So by removing the buds we've still got a concentration of hormones in the stem but they'll change to produce roots instead of leaves or branches. Right, I've got some growing medium here. This is um, normal bonsai saw but it has got like quite a lot of extra grit and light in so I think a seven centimeter pot will be plenty so I'll fill that up firm that off now this is quite dry so what I'm going to do is water these pots to make sure the compost is nice and damp before I put the uh, cuttings in so dry compost can be a bit of a pain really when it comes to um, sowing seeds and taking cuttings as it takes forever for the water to soak in so a handy tip is just get a little spray bottle and just keep misting it over and that should hopefully 
help make the compost just a little bit more damp. I'm going to have to get one of the pump ones <laughs> before my wrist gives up anyway. So that's basically it. I just keep um, doing that and mixing it over, pulling it out and it, uh, it helps make the compost just a little bit easier to work with. There we are, so that's dampening some compost. Right, I've got some, right, I've got some growing medium here. That's all nicely watered. And I've got my cuttings here to insert. And then I've got the um, rooting gel. Um, it's up to you how you do this. Some people will, will like spoon a bit out into a little dish and dip it in that. And other people just um, dip it straight from the pot. If you're worried about getting your cuttings the wrong way up, the best thing to do is when you're preparing them, is to have a straight cut across the bottom and then a diagonal cut across the top and that way you'll know the diagonal almost goes upwards. So it's rather simple, you just dip it in the gel and because the compost is already moist Hopefully, most of the um, rooting gel will stay on the cutting. And I'll just pop them in. I just think they're going about an inch, an inch in really. So I've watched quite a few other videos on people taking hardwood cuttings of the Dawn Rippers and they assure me that uh, they do work this way. So I'll leave them in a, a bright space. Uh, if it's frosty, I'll put them somewhere sheltered just in case. I'm not sure how long they'll take to root, probably two to three months, but we'll revisit them and uh, see how many have rooted. So I hope you found this informative. As always, I welcome your comments and ideas and that way we all can learn and find out the best way to um, do find out the best way to do things. So thank you very much for watching. I look forward to making some more content for you shortly. And as always, stay safe and take care. Bye bye for now.